Hey guys, it's Keith Kelfus again, and in this video, I want to talk about the ability to say no. When you're getting your own business off the ground, your time is going to become extremely valuable. When you're an employee in the employee mindset, you work 40, 50 hours a week, whatever you work, work eight hours, punch out, you go home, you don't deal with the business anymore. You deal with whatever else you got going on in your life. Well, when you get your own business off the ground, you got to deal with the marketing, the sales, dealing with customers and quotes and paperwork and invoices and, and the labor and so much stuff that your time becomes extremely valuable. So in the power of no, the ability to say no means you have to be selfish with your time in order to get to a point where you can become selfless and give back. But if you want to be successful, you've got to become selfish. And I know that feels bad if there's certain people in your life that tug on you and pull on your time and they're needy and they need your help. It's going to be really hard telling those people no. So uh, think of somebody in your life right now that calls you and they always want favors. They always... Now imagine telling that person no. Oh, it burns that sting. If you're an, uh, a people pleaser type of person or you have codependent relationships, telling somebody no, especially somebody that you're close to, it's going to hurt. But I have a coach named Rob. The guy's amazing. He's helping me uh, with my psychology. He's helped me get my business off the ground. And he's a genius because he says this thing. He says the ability to hear no and say no without residue. So when you tell somebody no, there's no emotional residue. If they got residue, that's their problem. If you hear the word no, no residue. So when you are off work and now you're getting your business off the ground, uh, there's going to be tons of distractions and things that are going to fight for your time, things that are going to try to just eat your time up. And then before you know it, it's Monday and you're back at work or you've got something else important going on and you can't build your business. So become very selfish with your time and I want you to start saying no. Uh, right before I start, I may, uh, turn this video on to record. Uh, a close friend of mine has a roofing company, very successful guy. He called me and asked me if I could fix something in his graphic marketing in Photoshop. And I'm pretty good at that stuff. And I said no. He's like, come on, man, it'll take you 10 minutes. I'm like, no, because I know 10 minutes will turn into an hour. And even though he's my friend and I just want to help him, no, because that hour of valuable time is something I could be spending on my business and moving my business.